I sorry for the quality today. Uh, my application I usually use ScreenFlow is not working, so I'm forced to use an alternative, which I don't quite like as much. But anyways, um, today I'm going to be talking about backup solutions, um, uh, different ways to keep your system backed up. Now, right now I'm going to be talking about uh, one single system. Like if you own a laptop, or if you own if you own a laptop as much, how to back that up? Not as much a large scale network or backing up a, a large amount of computers, like um, quite a few computers. I'm just saying backing up your main machine, um, making sure that you have um, a nice stable system that is backed up and you're not going to have a problem four weeks from now saying oh no my hard drive broke and I have nowhere else to go to get my stuff back that kind of thing so uh, <laughs> I have many different backup solutions I do not just use one backup solution I back it up in many different ways just because I find it's safer that way um, now let's start with the, mo the simplest backup solutions that I have. Um, it's an iPod. Um, <laughs> um, seems weird. To many people, maybe. I'm sure you carry one, one of these around in your bag. It's, uh, this is the iPod Classic. Uh, 120 gigabytes, if I'm correct. I don't know if it's 120 or 160. I think it's 120, though. But anyways, um, Basically, what I use that that for is I yes I use it for music of course and uh, basic iPod stuff, but I also use it as a hard drive and a backup device. Uh, basically, all that's on that um, that uh, iPod is a backup of basic applications I use every day for my Mac, uh, as well as um, as um, uh, a copy of uh, Snow or not Snow Leopard, a copy of Leopard I think is on that. Um, just that would I could uh, use to uh, reinstall. Um, and also, I have a Windows part of it too, so this is not just a tip for Mac here. I also have a Windows part on it too. With the installers of uh, basic Windows applications I may need, um, I think I've got Office on there, and also the copy of the newest Windows 7 build, as well as a Windows Vista build and a Windows XP build. Um, just if all those fills kind of thing, I'm just um, I'm out in the. It, it's for example, if I'm at a friend's house, I'm not gonna be back for a couple of days, hanging out there. Um, crap, my system goes down. Um, a way that I can keep using it, kind of thing. Um, basically, a band-aid solution. <laughs> but anyways, that's that's what I do there. That's what I do um, in respect for basic backup that way. Also, even more basic backup. I have one of these. This is not the one I use, but this is, this is actually a really old USB key. Um, but anyways, I use a USB key that has. I have two of these in my bag. Um, that are not not like not USB keys for storing like basic documents and transferring back and forth more this USB key has on it an install of OS 10 um, this one I think has leopard on it um, so I basically can pop this in boot off of it and install leopard right on my system um, this is just in case kind of thing as well as um, I have another one of these um, with um, a Windows it's Windows 7 actually a Windows 7 build um, install disk put on this so I can just plug this into my system and install off of it um, I when I when I uh, generally install OS 10 maybe OS 10 or XP or, or not XP Win OS 10 or Windows in general um, I will use a USB key just because CDs get scratched CDs get lost and also they're kinda slow in some cases um, you'll find that using flash memory is a lot faster at least I do um, so yeah um, I carry two, I carry one for Windows, one for XP. Actually, they're labeled on them: Windows and <laughs> Windows and OS 10. But yes, that's that's just another backup solution I decide to use. Um, just a USB key with your Windows install disk on it. You know, if you're downtown kind of thing, and you, you need to quickly reinstall Windows. You know, you're not gonna be home for a few days. You pop uh, like if you're on a business trip or you're on a trip in general on a vacation, and your system goes down. You know, you can pop one of these in. Just pop this into your computer and uh, do a quick re do a quick wipe reinstall and um, you know have Windows at least have or not not even Windows to have OS 10 or Windows on your system you'd be fine um, and then you can of course just download basic applications that you may need over the time um, it's it's a very very serious you know thing also I do I forgot to mention on this iPod here I also do save my documents on here um, like I, I of course I save them on my computer first. 
but every um, every time I feel like I've used my I've u I've um, really put a lot more of my work on my computer um, I tend to throw it on this thing as well just so I have it too so you know I'm on vacation kind of thing you know I'm relaxed and I'm on the beach kind of thing and I go home or I go not home but I go back to my hotel my system's got an error you know I wipe it with this throw a Windows XP or throw a Windows Vista Windows 7 or OS 10 whatever I prefer on there throw that back on throw my documents back on you know I've got basic install applications on here I'm ready to go so it's it's really really good to have that just in case because you never know systems you know systems go bad in many different ways so also I don't carry this with me but what I do have in this house I do carry I do have um, backup drive not backup drives but I do have um, um, I do have hard drives um, I think I've got a few um, I have one basically what I do is I have one spare drive for each computer in the house kind of thing I try to um, uh, with older systems I don't of course but at least with my main laptops and uh, my main desktop I tend to do that um, so basically um, this system has a 5 gigabyte drive in it I replaced a 120 I kept the 120 just in case this drive ever had an error I could just throw the 120 back into it and I I've already have it imaged up and ready to go um, I'm, I'm <laughs> not saying everyone should be like this um, I'm kind of over cautious um, when it comes to losing da data just because I have lost a lot um, in the past and I didn't quite think that was a great experience um, so yeah um, basically my recommendation is you know if you're if you're if you're um, you know a power user if you're if you're familiar with technology and you, you can do this um, have a Windows install CD on your USB key because it, it might save you it really could save you because it has it has saved me a few times um, you know uh, bad drivers system not working just right quick wipe throw my data back on it's okay um, it's just a really great solution to have but if you're just a basic user carry a USB key with you I see so many people just carrying their systems with them and you ask them if they have a USB key they don't even have one you know these are these are like I paid 10 bucks the other day for an 8 gig USB key go get a USB key have it save your documents on them not all like not don't save your documents on all the time but once in a while just throw your documents on that USB key it will save you um, if you you know even if you accidentally delete a file you can just go back to this and pull the file back off you know if you're good at it if you're good at backing up then you know it'll save you so that's those are one of, that's one of my solutions there um, I'm actually gonna get into my um, that's just basic solutions as I that I carry with me. Um, I'm gonna do a part two that will have um, not basic solutions, but a bit more um, solid solutions, meaning uh, a bit more um, how to explain it. Uh, solutions that are like are like bigger, like big hard drives that you back up to, and different like like uh, solid solutions. Like basically, once this has saved you and you've reinstalled Windows, how do you go back home and actually get all your data really back? Um, and it, it may and it also some of my solutions do work for large scale networks if you do um, if you do have a whole, not saying you know you should do this at work kind of thing but just saying it's it's a good cheap way to do it if you have um, I have a whole bunch of systems that I've built over the years and I don't have the heart to give them up <laughs> I sell a few of them but um, I still have a lot of systems around the house and, you know just just ways to uh, back them up and just have a basic backup of them it's always good to have so uh, um, keep your eye out for uh, part two. I'm gonna be uploading as soon as I um, finish. As soon as I uh, finish uh, taping it, I guess uh, I'll be uploading that. And I should be doing that today. So look out for that. Um, also, uh, if you have any questions about different backup solutions I use, um, different uh, questions about your own backup solutions that you know I may be able to answer, uh, feel free to email me at zrtech at gmail dot com. Also, uh, reply in the comment section below. And if you want to subscribe, okay, I'm mixed up today. If you want to subscribe, but uh, be sure to hit the uh, subscribe button, which is on this side. I'm pretty sure, because uh, um, I have a lot of I have a lot more videos, and they're hopefully they're interesting to someone. So uh, be sure to uh, click subscribe if you want to see the rest of my videos. I hope I'm making many more. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope your backups uh, go safe and don't lose any data. Thank you very much.